video is on high ticket camps right now today's video is only really going to work if you have a really good business setup if you've got systems in place and you have a high volume of clients okay so today's video is about how to generate 20k or more with high ticket camps so what I mean by high ticket camps is these are type, these are camps that are obviously a lot more expensive, but they add a lot more value to uh, the players and clients that you work with. OK, so if you have a look at the screen in front, okay, I'm going to go through the five five points here. Now, something I haven't mentioned is the process of onboarding uh, clients into this type of, of camp, right? But if you're looking to run anything which is high ticket, then you've always got to make sure that there's a good process in place to onboard parents. So making sure that there's a registration page where they can sign up, make sure that you're having a follow-up call with them once they have signed up to make sure that any questions might be asked, uh, answered, that they might have any doubts, uh, making sure obviously that you have systems in place such as uh, the facility is fully booked for the week of camp, making sure that you have sufficient staff to run the camp and that you have business insurance for the, the camp as well. Okay, so I'm... Leave, leaving aside all of those necessary things that if you're a coach that is looking to run these camps, you should already have in place already, okay? So what I want you to do is get a pen and paper, right? Make sure you take notes because this is definitely going to help you. And like I said, this is a type of video that is for a coach which has high volume of clients. So is working with a lot of clients and has already a big reputation uh, in their in their city and is well connected okay so the first thing i want to talk about in front is high end registration fees right so if you want to run a high ticket type of camp then you've obviously got to make sure that the event is very unique and this is something we're going to go through but in order to make it unique, you've got to make sure that it is only for a certain amount of committed clients, right? Now, there's a number of ways you can do this, right? So having a high ticket uh, price for the camp makes it very unique for some, for some type of clients that want to do it during the week. But also you could set up payment plans so that the cost of the camp is spread out during the year before the lead up of the event. Right. So having having good systems in place. And again, if you want more help with this, I can help you. Uh, our company has, has helped coaches to do this. But making it expensive doesn't mean you're filtering out families that can't afford it. Right. All you're doing is you're making it more of a an event or a camp that is for more committed and serious types of players. Because as I mentioned, you could make it really expensive, but you could introduce payment plans where parents are paying uh, for that camp before the camp even starts. Right. So you could set up a, a three month payment plan where they're paying uh, in three installments. Or they they play they pay in two installments right there's a, there's a number of ways you can do this right but just because it's expensive doesn't mean that that is oh that it's a camp only for wealthy families okay? if you have payment plans in place you can attract uh, parents who might not be able to afford to pay it up front okay. So this is a very simple, uh, simple maths that I've done here, right? To be able to get to make at least 21K 
through registration fees alone, right? You need to have at least 70 players that are fully attending your camp, right? And that are paying at least $300 for the camp, right? So if you've got 70 players, 70 families that are paying $300 upfront or in, in, or have payment plans, but they are paying $300 to attend that camp, then on that alone, you're going to be making 21K, okay? Now, next one is sponsorship, right? So how can you make extra money on top of your registration fees? You can do this by running sponsorship deals. So if you have businesses in your local area, that a lot of parents go to, right? It might be a restaurant, it might be a bowling alley, it might be a kids center, right? It might just be a business where a lot of parents and kids go to. You might approach that business and say to them, right, we're looking to run this type of camp from this date to that date. Uh, we're looking to have anywhere between 70 to 100 kids attend. Would you like to sponsor us for the event? Or would you like to sponsor our camp? Now, there's a number of ways you can do this, but I'm just going to break it down really simple. So if you've got one company that are sponsoring your camp per day, then you could charge that company $250 per day to sponsor your camp right now there could be certain different events and and things that that company does with your clients so they could hand out uh, shirts at the end of the camps on the last day uh, they could hand out trophies uh, they could hand out flyers they could do a special type of promoting and marketing event with with your kids on that camp Right, so there's a number of different ways that they can expose their business and brand on your camp, but also you're getting your camp sponsored by their company. Okay, so I've done very simple maths. So if you're charging two hundred and fifty dollars uh, for of sponsorship, times that by five days, then you're making one thousand two hundred and fifty on top of already the 21K that you've made in registration fees, okay? So already we've made more than 22K only with having a high-end registration fee and on sponsorship, okay? Next one is merchandise sales, right? So a very simple way of adding extra revenue is by selling merchandise to parents, now, a very common and popular one that you can do is that when parents register onto the camp, right, they've got to pay an extra for the training uniform. Okay, so this might be the training shirt that they have to wear each day for the camp. And what you do is you make it a requirement for them to have to purchase it and also to wear it every single day okay now i've done a simple maths here that if you sell a shirt at 25 dollars and you times that by 70 kids right you're already you're making an extra 1750 on top of the more than 22k that you've already made through the registration fees sponsorship and now the merchandise Okay, so only that alone is going to already make, you're probably going to be making over 23K with registration fees, sponsorship, merchandise, air sales. Now, what I want you to remember, this doesn't take into account, obviously, the costs that you have to run the event, right? Because you've obviously got to pay for facility fees, uh, coaches, insurance, etc. But, okay you're going to be making at least 23K or more through that event. And that money should be able to cover your costs for the event, right? 
Now, another way that can separate your camp from everyone else and make it a, a high-end type of, of service is by bringing in some really good coaches or guest speakers, right? So you might decide to bring in a guest speaker or a coach one day per week, right? Maybe on the Monday, you have a nutrition speaker come in and talk about sports nutrition. On the Tuesday, you might have a coach come in and talk about uh, strength and conditioning, right? And how that's important in the sport you coach. On the Wednesday, you might have a college a college scout or a college coach come in and talk about the college recruitment process to your players, right? On the Thursday, you might have a mental performance coach come in and talk about confidence, uh, the ability to avoid uh, fear of failure, um, you know, how to how to not let mistakes affect you during 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 matches. Right, so you could specifically bring in different types of speakers during the week. So that adds a little bit more value to what you do. But also, if you get those guest speakers to then promote your event through their platforms, that's going to get you even more exposure if you bring in the right people. Now, the last one is utilize influencer marketing. So this is one that, we worked with a coach very recently and he ran this type of event. And what I said to him, right, we've got to find someone that is in the local area that has a lot of following from parents and that you can use to market your event. So he found it was, it was a lady in his local area that, that sells a product which a lot of uh, mums buy. And because she has a really big following and quite a big influence on mums who are also parents, right? they did some cross-marketing where she was promoting the event to her audience. Now, because that influencer had a, a child who also played soccer, Right, this coach uh, uh, allowed her child to do the camp for free in exchange for her promoting and marketing to her audience. And we 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 ran the numbers, and that coach brought in at least two to three parents from that influencer. Which again, if you're selling a high ticket type of a uh, type of service then two or three clients could make you an extra 900 dollars for that camp okay on top of you're getting more exposure for any upcoming uh, event and also brand uh, it's building brand awareness okay so if you need more help with this uh, Visit the descriptions below this video, number of ways we can help you. And if you want to book a call with me, you can do visit the description below. There's a link where you can book a free 15 minute call with me. We'll jump on Zoom and I can answer some of your questions with regards to running a high ticket camp. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.